What a day to be in the Star Stable community. I don't know why that was the thing that came to my brain when I started this video. Okay, hello everyone. Today we have what is up next on Yorvik. It's been a little bit since we got one of these. Um, Star Stable, I think, like, they did, like, a two-week, like, break from it or something. Like, the last one finished a couple of weeks ago and they took a little bit to get this one out, but that's totally fine. We're gonna go ahead, ahead and check it out. It actually came out last night, but I was way too tired to sit down and film a video i just done a three and a half hour live stream on instagram live follow me over there if you want to so i haven't seen any of this yet um i think i saw one person talk about it on instagram and i think they were just mad because other people were being mean and they, it's it's a whole thing we're just gonna go react to it we're just gonna react to it i deeply apologize i suppose for two reaction videos in a row but that's just how the tables, that's how the pieces were played today. What the heck is that uh, saying? I'm not sure, but that's that's how things fell together today. Let's see. Next up in Jorvik, we have some amazing content coming up for you guys over the next month. Take a sneak peek at the exciting things on their way to Jorvik. Appaloosa update. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love how it says week one. Okay. Week one, the Appaloosa gets an upgrade. No two Appaloosas look the same. Coming in every base and several different spotty patterns. In Jorvik, the Appaloosa has six beautiful coat variations. Super excited. Reacted to them last night. Adorable. Halters. The Western Rope Halter pairs perfectly with the Appaloosa. Snag a halter in one of the four stunning shades to keep this loyal companion by your side through the adventure. I told you guys yesterday, I was like, that looks like a new halter. And I haven't actually gotten around to reading those comments because it came out. That video came out eight hours ago and I've just been adulting a little bit. I have to go to the shops today. But uh, I told you guys it's a new halter. I was on the ball in that trailer. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I've just read the next one. Marley's Farm Reverb? Oh my gosh. This is next week. The Appaloosa isn't the only thing getting a makeover. We're also unveiling a revamp of Marley's Farm. It's been too long. It's been too long. I'm so ready for this. Enjoy the extra space and join Marley as he gathers his siblings to honor his late father, Ronnie Bob. Wait, isn't Ronnie Bob alive? What? I don't, I don't know. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Oh my gosh, that's gonna look so good. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, next up, Marley's Farm Race. Week three. Marley accidentally ordered greens, lots of greens, and a crazy amount of potatoes. We love a good potato, cannot complain. He couldn't let them go to waste, so he's using them in a race. Plus, Marley's Farm's merch gets new colors. Marley's Farm merch? I did not know that Marley's Farm has a, I knew they had clothes there. Anyways, that's exciting. New clothes, I think that's saying. New race, though. Oh my gosh, this is the potato race that we haven't done in literally years. <gasps> Wait, that's kind of exciting. I love the potato race and we haven't done it in forever. I love potatoes. Like, I don't know why, but they're, they're just really like, you can use them in anything, man. Oh my gosh, they're so good. And week four, the last race, Marley's Farm Paddock. Marley's Farm keeps getting better. It's upgrading to the paddock prop system. Choose from several different sets of props to suit your fancy. All right, a very exciting start to January. Now, I can see why people are saying maybe they're disappointed because they feel like small updates. What the heck is that sound? Well, anyways, that's fine. Um, but honestly, revamping a new area would take a lot of time on the team. Revamping a horse as well would take a lot of time on the team. And actually, this is pretty good because... I feel like sometimes people complain about things costing star coins, but like 75% of this month's update doesn't need you to cost star coins, I suppose. Um, unless you count the new clothes that we might be getting. Let me see if I can open this image up. But it's the start of the year. And I don't know about you guys, but the start of the year for me is always a little bit slower as I try to figure things out. On YouTube, it's even a little bit slower um, just because it's the start of the year and things are changing and things like that. So, you know, obviously we have an entire year for things to get super duper interesting. So, yeah, if that makes sense. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, no, this rope holder looks different to the one I saw in the trailer. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, 
Um, it looks amazing though. I can def that. That is the type of halter that I like to use in role plays. Oh, that's so exciting. Ooh, Molly's farm. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is so exciting. I'm so hyped. And we can kind of see a bit more of a sneak peek in this picture here. Ooh, it looks so different. That building there, the yellow building with the green roof, doesn't look like it fits at Marley's farm. It looks like it's part of the village. Not sure if I vibe with that, but obviously this is one picture, one angle. We cannot judge it yet. Okay, okay. I don't really know what else to say. I'm going to be honest. This video is definitely on the shorter side because there wasn't a ton of stuff to talk about. I guess let's pull up Instagram. See what Instagram's really saying. I didn't just drop my phone, you heard nothing. Okay, let's see. I can't wait, so excited. Really appreciate that you added uh, which week the different things arrive makes it a lot less confusing. I agree because sometimes you just literally were not sure whether there was two updates together like they'd put five things on the up next in Jorvik and you're like so is the horse coming with the jump race or is the race coming with the other thing kind of thing so I like the fact that they said week one I think that's definitely making it a lot more accessible easier to read I cannot hold my excitement any longer so hyped it looks amazing excited for the new courses can't wait so excited okay honestly there we go one update split into three let's get some tea go no i'm i'm the middleman man you can have your own opinions but just because you don't you don't agree with something doesn't mean you have to bring everyone else down with you if that makes sense um no oh my god okay yep here we go <laughs> There we go. Anyways, you know what? I've had enough of that. I've, sometimes we can leave the negative energy away. Have your own opinions, but uh, I'm just going to be happy with what I'm given right now because there's a lot going on in my life that I cannot be bothered to uh, feel negativity towards a game. <laughs> oh dear. Anyways, yes, that is the next updates for the upcoming months, uh, weeks of January. Personally, I'm very excited. Personally, when my, oh, sometimes small updates for me are just nice. I say that, but it's just nice to not have to do big, massive update videos every week. Sometimes it's nice to just chill out with you guys a little bit. Let me know which one you're most excited for. Obviously, for me, it's the Apple Lusa. Oh my gosh. But actually, no, I'm pretty excited for every single one of these updates. Getting a new updated area is always fun to check out because they, they love adding all the little details, which is just amazing to see. And a new race is really exciting, especially the potato race. Even if it's the same, even if it's different, it's fun to have it back as well. Although it's not the potato festival, unless, unless it is, because they were saying celebrating their, was it father or grandfather or something? So maybe it is the potato festival. But that's really exciting to see in the game again, because I love those like uh, little events and like Jorvik traditions, I suppose we get. And uh, what was the last thing? Oh yeah, paddock props. I feel like paddock props is my meh one, because I haven't really used them. But I want to get more into role playing this year, like creating role playing videos for for you guys so getting more paddock props in more areas is really exciting because it opens the door for roleplay a ton so i'm not mad at any of the updates i think that they are all very very nice but of course that's just my opinion you are entitled to your own but with that being said i'm gonna see you guys in a couple of hours for the updated apple looses so exciting drop some name suggestions in the comments below uh in case i need some help but yeah, I hope you guys are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day and I will see you guys in the next one. See you later. Bye bye.